So I wanted to start off with that. And um, Ken, I want to get your feedback on the pop culture phenomenon based on exorcism. Yeah, one important thing about that movie in particular is that it's based on a book by William Blatty, who actually conducted research of a real life case. It's based on a real case. It was a boy, it wasn't a girl. But it did all start with a Ouija board, which we're told, oh, come on, that's just a parlor game, right? No big deal. But it, uh, it does lead to a lot of problems because your intention is there, right? Your intention is to summon something from the other world. And well, guess who's all the more willing and able to, uh, to make contact back at you? <laughs> it's not a loyal angel who is doing God's will and it's it's another kind of a, a entity, a demon that is uh, just doing its own thing, right? <laughs> yeah. um, so that's why these things are really problematic. In fact, I've noticed if you noticed, okay, if you watch essentially any um, show that's uh, Ghost Hunter or whatever, inevitably they will partake in an occult ritual to summon a spirit. Even if it's just, hey, is anybody here? And then it's like they're, they're, um, it is a form of ritual where they're no longer just observing, investigating. They're attempting to, to cause a manifestation. Correct. And it, be, be they as secular or skeptic as they are, it doesn't matter. That, if you watch those shows, it's absolutely inevitable that a ritual it will be a part of it. Even if there's no candles and hoods and pentagrams. Correct. Just their intention is to make that contact. You you nailed it right out of the ballpark there, Ken. 